Welcome to Biology My Passion. I am Soumya Harikrishna. We are studying the chapter Biological Classification and also we dealt with the Kingdom Monera and Kingdom Protista. Kingdom Fungi divided into four classes Phycomyces, Ascomyces, Basidiomyces and Deuteromyces. Coming to the next group of fungi, class Basidiomyces, it is the most advanced type of fungi and mycelium, what is the condition? Branched and septate, so uninium plate. They are found mostly in soil, logs and as parasites also. Uh, we all are familiar with the mushrooms. Uh, these mushrooms are also uh, coming under this group. Uh, and fragmentation is very common means of uh, vegetative propagation, whereas asexual spores are not uh, usually seen. Whereas sex organs also uh, absent in them, but two hyphae of plus and minus strain that is compatible mating type come together and fuse leading to plasmogamy. So now let's see what how the uh, reproduction, sexual reproduction is happening. During sexual reproduction, one plus hyphae and one minus hyphae, they come together and uh, fuse. So as a result, it will have two nuclei. Then it will undergo division to form a hyphae which has got two nuclei each. So this is dicarion stage. But here the dicarion mycelium also exists. Not like they are fusing immediately. The dicarion mycelium also exists. Now if I show this like a uh, different mycelia, from this what happens? One fruiting body will come up like our mushroom. This is called a stipe. This structure is, uh, this total structure is called a basidio carp. Carp means fruiting body, fruit, fruit. Uh, so here since it is basidio mycetes, the fruiting body is basidio carp. Okay. Then the basidio carp, so imagine these are all what kind of hyphae? Each one has a dicarion. Okay. Each one is dicarion. From that this is forming. So this is actually formed by tuft of hyphae only. The hyphae come together to form this. Okay. So this is each one inside is dicarion. Now at the bottom here there are there are structures like this. From behind if you see they look like a gills of a fish. So these are also called a gills. Okay. On both sides of the suppose if I see gill like this, here the hyphae are there. At the both edges, there are structures forming. These structures are called a basidium. Remember in ascomyces how we saw the end of the hypha, it is becoming ascus. Same way, here also at the edges, uh, they form basidium. Inside the basidium, the dicarion or the two nuclei fuse to form a single diploid nucleus. If I enlarge one basidium, it has one nucleus. This will undergo reduction division because this is diploid. Reduction division giving rise to four basidiospores like this. These are basidiospores. Okay. These basidiospores will now detach and this will grow into different plus or minus hyphae. So, first plus hyphae and minus hyphae, when they come together, they fuse and form a dicarion mycelium. Dicarion hypha, which eventually forms dicarion mycelium. And from that, a fruiting body forms. The fruiting body is called a basidiocarp. Then the basidiocarp has got gills. On both sides of the gills, the penultimate cell or the edges, there are structures called basidia inside which the two nuclei fuse that is karyogamy happens resulting in a diploid nucleus. This diploid nucleus will undergo reduction division to form four haploid basidiospores. Basidiospores on germination will give rise to a new haploid hypha. Okay, so now let's see the important members of this group. Now coming to the important members of this group, of course of agaricus or the mushroom, then thought stools are there, bracket fungi are there, puff balls are there and uh, two parasitic forms are Puxenia and Astilago. Puxenia is a fungus which causes a rust of wheat whereas Astilago causes smut disease. So rust disease is by Puxenia, smut disease is by Astilago. 